Hey everyone, I'm Stacy, the 911 Stitcher. Welcome to my channel about cross stitch and crafting where I talk about punch needle, I talk about quilting, sometimes English paper piecing, sewing, but it's primarily a cross stitch channel and I welcome you all who are here to learn about crafting and about cross stitch. Cross stitch is one of my favorite things and this is a regular YouTube video where I include all the crafting that I do. My last video was for beginners. That was number 70. I've done two beginner cross stitch videos. So if you're new to cross stitch or you're just returning after a long period of time, I encourage you to go back to video number 66. And then my last video was last week, number 70. It focused more on fabric. Video 66 was a beginning video for everybody and it talked about all kinds of things about beginning cross stitch. So check those out and then as my videos, I'm going to continue doing beginning videos as well. They will narrow down to more topics like last week was fabric, next week will be thread, we will do cross stitch and social media, we'll talk about floss tubing, we'll talk about accessories for cross stitch. So I have a lot more videos planned for beginners, so stay tuned. But today's a regular video. I'm excited to talk to you about a punch needle that I finished, cross stitch that I've been working on. I have new releases for cross stitching to show at the end of the video. I have giveaway winners, a fantastic giveaway today from Rainbow Hedgehog on Etsy. I'm excited for you to meet Anna and learn more about her shop. So let's get started. But first of all, just a quick life update. As you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know Max, my little baby German Shepherd, has gone to school. I'll post some pictures here for you to see. There he is in his little bow tie and his little sack lunch. <laughs> so this is a two-week training program. It's all day. He goes to school from 8.30 in the morning until 4.30 in the afternoon, then we pick him up every night, and then he goes back the next day. So it's for two solid weeks, and he's doing great. He's learning a lot. He comes home very tired, and maybe at the end of the video, I'll include some more pictures and a video of him at training. So, but before anything else, let's get started with the video for cross-stitching and crafting. And before I say another word, I want to thank all of you who have donated to my channel. Thank you so much, you guys. The link is down below in the notes for the video. Buy me a coffee is what it's called. Um, I mentioned before, you're not really buying me a coffee. And these donations go to my channel for giveaways and for shipping costs. So those of you that have, do that have donated, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I have a lot of great new charts to do as giveaways. And I've got more exciting things coming up. So thanks again, everybody. Next week is going to be busy. The next two weeks for me, I'm going to try and do some uh, YouTube videos from the locations that I'm visiting. Next week, I leave for summer school in Phoenix, Arizona. And it's being hosted by the Attic Needle Workshop, which you may have heard of before. I'm sure a lot of you have uh, purchased from the Attic. And I'm excited to visit it for the first time. I... This is my first summer school, and if you're into samplers like I am, if you, now I stitch everything, as you guys know. I don't have a certain style. I love all kinds of different styles of cross stitch. If you're into sampler stitching, check out summer school maybe for next year because it's exclusive release charts from different designers. It's a great group of people. I'm excited to meet new friends, and I'm also excited to meet Sherry, the Colorado cross stitcher, and I'm hoping that we can share an Uber ride We've talked about it to the actual attic. We'll visit the shop on Thursday. And then the, the school summer school starts Friday, Saturday, and ends on Sunday. So that's next week. I will try and do a floss tube video from Phoenix. If I get a chance, I'll include some pictures, tell you about summer school so far. And so look for, look for that video. It should be coming next week. If not, it'll be when I get home. It'll be a little special. Then when I get home on Sunday, I have Monday, Tuesday, to recuperate and then on Wednesday I fly out to New Jersey and New York. I am going to the, what is it, what is it called? I wanna get it right. Needle Fest 2021 hosted by Needle Workers Delight out of New Jersey. I'm excited because it's, it's a one day class but I'm getting there early because I'm meeting my friend Krista and we're going to go see Needleworks Delight in New Jersey, visit the shop and then the actual Needle Fest 2021 is Saturday, August 28th it's in Berkeley Heights, New Jersey. And if you're interested, registration is through needleworkersdelight.com. I will put that information down below. 
So after that show is over, I leave on Sunday and I go to New York City to see my friend. I'm going to spend about three extra, three or four extra days in the city. And it's been a couple years since I've been back. And my, one of my best friends lives there. And we always eat. We always cook. We always have so much fun. So I won't be home until the following Wednesday after that. So if any of you happen to be at the Needlework Show on August 28th, say hello to me. Come on up and say hi. I'd love to meet you. It'll be a lot of fun, and I can't wait to see you there. So again, I will try and do a video from New York, and it'll be a special on the Needlework Show. Uh, again, it's called Needle Fest 20, 2021. And I'll let you know what it's like. I'll show you some pictures. I'll try and get some video and I'll include you guys as well. So you can check it out. Maybe you can go next year. And I'll, of course, I'll throw in a few pictures of New York as well. Let's talk about a charity chart that I find very important. And I think it's such a special chart. And I'm happy that Clay from Stitch Life has contacted me and mentioned this chart in my Facebook group. It's a fantastic charity chart. Please check it out. It's called the Hope Sampler. I'm going to, I'm going to show it here. Stitch Life teamed up with an Austin, Texas-based company called Ostitch for their 2021 charity, and it's benefiting a group called Out Youth. Now, Out Youth has been a safe place for the youth to go of all orientations, sexual orientations, and gender identities. It's a place out Youth pr provides a safe place for them to feel acknowledged, accepted, and loved. And it's a fantastic charity. So I'm going to link the website down below. If you're interested in the chart, please make a donation. And then it will be available to you through PDF form. Now, I just found out there is a company in Coparis Cove, Texas called Needleworks. I'm going to show a picture of their business card here and I will also link their information below. They've offered kits. If you're interested in getting a kit along with the chart, contact Needleworks. And again, I will put their information and phone number below and 100% of the proceeds go to Out Youth. I think this is fantastic. If you need more information, message me. I'll put you in contact with Clay from Stitch Life and We'll talk, we we'll, can talk to you more about the foundation, but it's a beautiful chart and I'd love to stitch it. And more than anything else, it's a fantastic charity and a good cause. If you stitch it, please make sure and use the hashtag on Facebook and Instagram. Hashtag is Hope Sampler. Let's talk about a free chart. Remember Melissa and her fantastic free charts? Melissa has an Instagram. It is pinker in the letter N, pumpkin quilting. Now check her out on Instagram. She also has a blog, Pinker and Pump Pumpkin, which I'll put down below. She has another one. It's beautiful. It's called the Susan's Summer Salt Box. This is a free chart. I've mentioned her many times before in my videos. Check her out. I'll put the link down below. If you try and print the chart, now I did find out you have to log into Google to get the chart. I had a lot of difficulty. I mentioned it on my last video. I did find out that once I got into Google, I had to log in first and then I had access to the chart. Let's talk about another free chart, Barbara Anna Designs. It's called Molly. Isn't she beautiful? I think she's so pretty. I'm going to put that link down below. If for some reason that link doesn't work, go to Instagram, Barbara Anna Designs, click her profile picture at the top, and the link is in her um, notes. But that's very cute. There's a new stitch along. I, I do like talking about the stitch along so you guys can follow along. Sometimes people have asked me, how do you know about stitch alongs? Where can I find information on stitch alongs? Instagram, Facebook, being a part of someone's designer, uh, like a designer fat quarter shop, different designers offer stitch alongs, um, different stitching groups. So I would say Facebook, Instagram, I follow fat quarter shop on, they have a blog, it's called Jolly Jabber blog, which I'll try and remember to link below. So anyway, the fat quarter shop is having a new stitch along. It is called stitchography. And it starts August 18th, the pattern is PDF, and you can kit it up and or get your supplies through the Fat Quarter Shop. So that stitch along again, August 18th is when it starts. I think Kimberly is starting it a couple days early, but there's more information on the blog. 
the Jolly Jabber blog and on the Fat Quarter Shop Instagram page. Let's talk about giveaways. First of all, I want to mention that I have a fantastic giveaway today. Thanks so much to Anna. She is Rainbow Hedgehog Shop on Etsy. I'm going to show her name here. She has offered to give two winners a PDF chart of her design. Now check out her shop though. I went on to her shop and she's got gorgeous fabric and she has hand painted cotton threads. They're beautiful. Oh my gosh. Thread holders. Check out if you're into the Salem witch or you're into Halloween, check out her thread holders on Etsy. They are fantastic. I can't wait to get one. I think they're so cute. And her fabric. She has beautifully dyed fabric. She has one that I noticed it's a purple, which would be perfect for Halloween. So again, she is Rainbow Hedgehog. And this is the chart that she's offering two winners for this video. This is the name of the chart. It's called Golden Birds. And it will be available as a PDF. In, your, in the notes below, make sure and just mention, hey, I'm interested in the Golden Birds or just put birds. And I'd love to have a chance to win. Two winners will be picked. Anna will personally send you the PDF chart herself. So thank you, Anna. And again, check out Rainbow Hedgehog Shop on Etsy. They're so fun. Lots of fun things to look at. Let's talk about giveaway winners from the last video. We had two charts from the Blackberry Rabbit and we also had Quaker Handwork by Brenda Gervais. So we have three winners I'm excited to tell you about. The first winner is Blackberry Rabbit Garden Box. This is what it looks like. The winner of this one is Bridget Harrison. And I'll show your name here. Congratulations, Bridget. You won the Garden Box. The next chart I gave as a giveaway from the, um, two videos ago. This is from video 69. And the winner of Home, this is what this one looks like. It's a brand new chart from the Blackberry Rabbit. Your keyword that I searched for under the YouTube comment picker was home, Mary Bergman. And Mary is a new subscriber. Congratulations. YouTube chose you as the winner. And thank you for joining my my video, my YouTube videos. I appreciate it. So Mary, you guys are going to get a hold of me via email, stacer5 at aol.com, S-T-A-C-E-R, and then number five at aol.com. Send me your address and I'll mail you your charts. The next chart I had as a giveaway is called Quaker Handwork. It is by Brenda Gervais with Thy Needle and Thread. And the winner is Adina Salmonson. Congratulations, Adina. Contact me, you are the winner of the Quaker chart. Now I am still waiting for contact from winners from number 70 and from number, the, uh, the ones I announced for video 68. I am looking for Harriet Foshi. You won an autumn chart on my beginners giveaway um, video. And I'm also looking for the winner of the Halloween Just Cross Stitch magazine, Carol Burden. So contact me, you guys. Um, I want to get these out mailed out to you. I have mailed most of them. I have Susan Silver. You know who you are. I will email you. Yours is coming real soon too. I'll get that in the mail in the next couple of days. Let's talk about some finishes that I got back from my finisher. I'm excited to show you guys a stocking and a pillow that she did for me. This first one I'm gonna show is from Tiz Halloween, Blackbird Designs. There are at least, gosh, I think there's like 10 or seven or there's a whole bunch of Halloween stockings in the booklet. If I think about it, I'll try and put a picture of the booklet here. Tiz Halloween is one of my favorites. And if you guys remember, I finished this little stocking. Is this the cutest little thing? Anyway, she made it into a stocking. She added some bead, some beading at the top for the hanger, a little bit of curly Q ribbon on the side, and this is the back. Let me show it up against something so it's a little bit more clear. That's the back, perfect fabric. And that's the front. Look at that curly Q ribbon, it's so cute. I love this. I think this was one of my favorite that she sent to me. But these little blackbird stockings, I think I did this in two days. It did not take long at all. It just only took me a couple days to do. 
and your cross stitch again you can turn it into something really cute really pretty like this so now i can hang it on my mini tree for halloween which is actually i'm going to turn it into a fall tree probably by the next video so anyway i'll show it up close it's really cute i love those that curly q ribbon she's got a little button on the side you can see the button there and the beads so this gives you an idea of how you can finish a stocking and again, it's just a little one for my tree. So I love it. Love, love. The next finish I wanted to show you, it is the Stitching Bee by Little House Needleworks. It is on 32 count vintage country mocha. And she turned it into the most adorable little pillow. Here's the back, the back fabric. So, so cute. Let's put it behind something. Anyway, it's just adorable. I'll show it up close so you really get an idea of how you can finish her cross stitch. So again, this is how, this is the area that I stitched. She added material black in color and then she added the extra material, made it into a pillow. It's got a little bee charm, little teeny tiny bee charm. And I love it. I think it's so cute. And that's the back. So again, this is Little House Needleworks. It's called the Stitching Bee. And I actually started a punch needle by Little House Needleworks, which I'll show you in just a few minutes. So those two finishes, I have more finishes to show in my next regular YouTube video. I can't wait to show you guys. Let's talk about some uh, finishes. I actually finished a punch needle. This one is called Jolly Santa. It is by Heart Creek Farm Creations, which I've mentioned in videos before. If you're interested in punch needles, she's a wonderful teacher. She will be, I did talk to Rose, she's at, she's going to be at Needlework Galleria in Missouri in September, and she'll have a booth if you have the opportunity to take her punch needle class. It's really great. That's the class I took to learn. So anyway, here's my little guy, and here's how he came out. Isn't he just cute? I think he came out really cute. Uh, I did change, I, I wasn't sure from this design. I thought it was a house that was hanging out of his bag. And I just did, wasn't real clear. So I was able to just kind of redraw it into a present. And, I, and then I added the star. The star is in metallics. I'm gonna show it up close. And I'm gonna finish him. I'll probably send him off to the finisher because I'm not, so good at doing punch needle finishes, although it isn't really any different than cross stitch, finishing him into a pillow or finishing him into somebody, something really cute. So anyway, there he is. He's cute, cute. <laughs> so that is my finish. And I did start a new punch needle. And people are sometimes curious about the back. That's the back. That's what you actually punch. So you can see my drawings. You can see the things that I followed. I changed the shape of the star. It was a little, kind of a little weird, but that's what it looks like on the back. If you've, if you've ever been curious about your working page, uh, you know, the working surface of punch needle, that's what it looks like. And then that's what it turns out to. And this is obviously the nice side that you turn it into something really cute. So I wanted to talk about that. I have a new start that I worked on. Let's talk about things that I've been working on. This one is called, let me find it. Oh, here it is. Remember Me. This is a special chart I mentioned. It's by willowhillsamplings.net. I thought they had an Etsy page too. I could be wrong, but Remember Me. This is what it looks like. And it's kind of hard to read in the picture. It says, when this you see, remember me. For in my heart, you'll always be. And then I'm going to put my friend Rhonda's initials. Rhonda was a, gr a group member that was special to me. She was also my Zoom buddy. And uh, she passed away a few weeks ago. So I'm doing this chart for her. And I have some progress on it. This is on 32 Count Haunted. And that's my progress so far. I really like this floss. Now, what makes this what makes this special is that Rhonda bought me some silks for you floss or thread. I had never used silks for you before. This happens to be if you're a part of um, 
Cross Stitch Camp on Facebook. It's a group done by Sherry, the Colorado Cross Stitcher. She's had a theme every month. This theme is to use a thread or a fabric that you've never used before. So in this case, I have used Haunted before, but I've never used these threads. And Rhonda, the one that passed away, she sent me silks for you. She loved silks for you. They're an Australian-based company. They're wonderful customer service. And I believe they're on Etsy and they have a website. So she had sent me this thread, this real pretty thread. I wanted to find a pretty background for it. I did like this, but I wanted it to show up really well. I wanted it to, to really pop on the fabric. And I think that this does. So this is special to me because of Rhonda and because of the threads that she bought me. And will I finish it in time for Cross Stitch Camp? You, the object of Cross Stitch Camp for these last three months, June, July, August, have been to try and pick a cross stitch that you can finish in one month. Again, here's the chart. And I've got the first two lines done, almost done. Will I get it done in August? I doubt it. <laughs> Don't tell Sherry. <laughs> But with these two trips coming up, I don't know if I'm going to be able to work on dark fabric on the plane or dark fabric, you know, in my hotel room with not very good lighting. So it's like, I don't know if I'm going to get it done. <laughs> we'll find out. Okay, next I started uh, a new punch needle, Vonna Pfeiffer. If you guys uh, remember in my last video, I mentioned that she is doing another series of punch needle classes on her YouTube channel. They are free, check them out if you're interested. But I am doing Little House Needleworks Bee Garden, and this is what it looks like. Now what's neat is my finish is also needlework, uh, Little House Needleworks. So it's kind of fun to see how similar the bee is, in, you know, cross stitch, punch needle. It's obvi obviously a different chart, but it is kind of fun to see them side by side. So again, this is punch needle and it is the one that Vanna has picked for her YouTube tutorial, which I got through the Shepherd's Needle in Little Rock, Arkansas. It came as a full kit. It's got the chart, the threads. It's got the, um, it even came with a threader, a punch needle threader. So my progress, which I just started two days ago, isn't much. And right now it's going to look sloppy because it doesn't have the threads next to it. But I have started the B-Skep. I've started the outlining of the alphabet and I need to continue with the flowers and the leaves. And then once you fill in up close, if you really look, it looks a little sloppy, but that's how punch needle looks when you first start. You can comb it and I'll go over punch needle on another video. But anyway, that's my start. Doesn't look that great yet, but once I start filling it in, it'll look really good and it'll look just like that chart. So that's a new start for me. And I don't know when her second video for this is coming, but I would assume it's coming soon. I keep an eye on her Instagram and her Facebook to see when her next punch needle classes are. What have I been working on? Works in progress, whips, applique. So I mentioned in my last video that I am doing this massive quilt. It is a quilt of the month, block of the month it's called, I should say which isn't block of the month, it's like three blocks a month. <laughs> I finished the first one I showed you guys in previous videos. This is the block I'm working on now. It is applique, so what you do is you cut out the pieces and you sew them on either machine or hand. I'm gonna do hand, and you put it as block number two. So what I've done, I'll show you real quick, is this is the small flower in the middle and it'll look something like this on a piece of blue fabric. And then of course the stem comes out from underneath it like this. So I've got all the petals done. I've got the stems done. What I need to do is just lay it out on the blue fabric right here and sew it on. So to me, that's kind of the easy part. And I've got three different flowers to do. Some of them have five petals. so. I'm gonna work on that. I'll show you the block next video. Next, I have worked on Stacy Nash Stables at Hollyberry Farm. And as you guys know, this is a long process. This is a big, big, big chart that I've been working on. I've had lots of mistakes that I've had to pick out and redo, but it's a great chart. I love it. 
Again, stables at Hollyberry Farm. I have put in this potted plant here and I've done this big tree here. I also added some windows. I'm working on the top story of the White House. So this is it. And like I said, I did this flower, this flower pot here. I did this. And then I also added some new windows. And I'll just continue. Let me put the light up a little bit more so it shows a little better. I'll show the border up close so you can see the really pretty border. I need to put in some flowers on the rest of the border. So the how this is the part here that I've worked on. I got a lot done. And I'll just keep working on that house and I'll keep Keep going, I'm almost there. I've got a lot of progress in this. So this is exciting. And I love those, I think the colors with the peach color, which is Candied Yams by Classic Color Works, I think. And then just, I think it's 498 Red DMC. So I'm using various threads and I'm really happy with how this is coming out. I think that it's, coming out. It's exciting to see that it's getting close to being done. Another new start I see probably coming real soon in my future. I need to talk to my new friend, Sandy. She's a viewer. She contacted me through email and asked if I would be interested in starting a chart that I showed a couple videos back. And it, it has been kept out because I have been planning on kidding it up and starting it. So when Sandy emailed me, I said, yes, I said, let's start together. So we are going to be doing Country Cottage Needlework Home for the Holidays. She, I believe, is doing it on a, a fabric that's similar to this. This is the chart. And I think I'm gonna go a little darker. I want that snow to really come out, the, the white snow and the snowflakes to really pop. So I think, Sandy, if you're watching this, I think I'm going to use Color and Cotton Fieldstone. And I think though, I think that would look pretty good with the snow and the color of the buildings. And I think that might look pretty good on that fabric. So I do have the fabric and I do have all the threads kitted up. I'm using DMC and I'm all ready to go. So Sandy and I have talked about when we might start our stitch along. And if anybody wants to join us, you're more than welcome. But I will contact you, Sandy. I'm thinking, how about September 1st when I get back from New York? I think I get back the 1st or the 2nd. So how about if we shoot for September 1st on starting that one together? Now let's show some stash. I've gotten some great stash. The first thing I want to show, and I hope she doesn't mind me showing it. I don't think she minds. My friend Darcy is on Instagram as Plan Knit Stitch. I'm going to link her down below. Check out her Instagram. She has got some beautiful things that she has put together, pictures of cross stitch and knitting, plan knit stitch is her name. Anyway, Darcy has written a book and she sent me a copy. I am so thrilled and I'd love to share it with you. It is on Amazon and it's on Kindle Unlimited, I believe, but check her out on Amazon. She's also on Facebook. This is the name of the book. It is Ursus Borales and this is her name. This is her very first book. Check her out on Amazon and Facebook and again on Instagram as Plan Knit Stitch. I'll put her information down below. But how awesome. I can't wait to read this book. I'm so excited for her, for Darcy. I finally got from Country Sampler, the Mary Argent Sampler. Now this is exclusive through Country Sampler. I'll put their information below. They are in Spring Green, Wisconsin, and this is their gorgeous, gorgeous chart. Now this does may not look like much as a picture, but I saw it stitched, and I'm trying to think, I think it's Emily C. Maybe she's stitching the Mary Argent sampler, but if you're interested in something like this, it comes as a gorgeous kit. I didn't want to take it apart until I showed you. And look at these, look at these threads. They are gorgeous. And again, it's called Mary Argent Sampler by Country Sampler. Their website is sgcountrysampler.com maybe, but I'll put it down below. Spring Green, Wisconsin. That's going to be beautiful. And I will definitely not start this until I finish the Stacey Nash. But I wanted to share that with you. I also got a set of Aurifil cotton threads through the Fat Quarter Shop. 
The reason I haven't sewn on my applique quilt block yet is because I didn't have any matching thread. So what I did is I went ahead and ordered through the Fat Quarter Shop 20 spools of the Aurifil in different colors. And it's a great set. They have, oops, now there's spools flying everywhere. Anyway, it's a great set, beautiful colors. And now I'm going to get started on that applique block now that I have the the uh, matching thread. Next, I also got kind of a neat thing. It's called Quilt Builder Card Deck. I first heard about this on Donna, live at the She Shack with Donna. She has a, a floss tube where she so, shows beautiful quilting and beautiful cross stitch finishes. Check out Donna. I will link her down below, but she suggested, she showed this, this um, pack of cards. What it is, it's a card deck and you take it out and you just pull out one of them. They are really sturdy cardboard and they're different quilt blocks. And all the information on the quilt block, the name of it, how you put it together is on the back of the card. I thought that was really, really interesting. Um, you know, say you're interested in putting this together, it's got all the information on the back and it's just so fun. So since I am just barely getting into quilting, this is called the windmill. There's the information on the back. Since I'm just getting interested in quilting, it says mix and match blocks to create your own masterpiece. I got that off of Fat Quarter Shop as well. Next, I received the greatest package from the Czech Republic. And I wanna thank, I didn't wanna mention names because I did not ask permission if I could mention their name, but this is so fun. She sent me several magazines of cross stitch from the Czech Republic. Now, is that the coolest thing you've ever seen? And they have the most beautiful, beautiful patterns in here. It's just, they're gorgeous. And the chart, regardless if you speak the language, the chart is very easy to follow. I'll just show a small, you know, just like a magazine chart. It's got your graph of your colors and your DMC and it's got some other choices of thread but you just follow the you just follow the chart for DMC find your colors and then you can build your picture so anyway this is such a great these charts are just beautiful the advertisements are beautiful this is another one that she sent but that's the name so this is just so fun. I am enjoying these magazines so much. Thank you so, so much for sending them to me. There's a lot of animals in this one. I was showing someone on one of my Zooms that they've got some animal charts that I just, oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. I love these. So much fun. She sent me another stack of charts, which I have separately. I'll show it in a different video, but I wanna show you the two kits that she sent me. I mean, just, they're just incredible. Now, when I was a little girl, my next door neighbor was like my second mom. Her name was uh, Dory. Her real name was Theodora von Wiedenburg. And she was from Rotterdam, the Netherlands. So I grew up with a, a strong Dutch influence. And Dory and I used to follow the adventures of, at the time, Queen Beatrix. And now it is King uh, Willem Alexander and his wife, Maxima. So she sent me the chart for the king and queen, the current king and queen of the Netherlands. And I'll show it up close. And this is a full kit. Isn't this incredible? It's amazing. I just can't even. It's so beautiful. Anyway, this was really special to me since I have followed the Dutch royal family since I was a little kid. And I was familiar with uh, King Willem and... Queen Maxima. I just thought that was just so amazing. So anyway, I thought I would show that. It's a, again, it's a full kit. There's all the floss, very easy to separate and some, and just a fantastic chart in honor of the King and Queen. The next one that she sent is, oh, and that's by Permin of Copenhagen. If you're interested in that chart, Permin of Copenhagen. The next one she sent is just as beautiful. It is a Dutch chart, again, by Permin. Nederland 40, 50, 40 to 45 is what the title says at the top. And this is the, this is the chart. Isn't it beautiful? 
It's just gorgeous. Again, it is by Permin of Copenhagen. They make gorgeous, gorgeous charts that are still available. So I wanted to mention that. Again, it's a full kit. It's got all the colors. Ignore my dog barking. I think my gardener's here. <laughs> and it's just beautiful kit. Thank you so much for sending it to me. If you're watching this video, thank you. I got another gift from a friend who wished not to be named, but she knows who she is. And we talk a lot on Instagram. She's become a friend and I keep missing her on Zooms. I'm excited to now be her friend. But anyway, she sent me this bag. She knows I love Amy Stewart. Amy Stewart has a lot of charts through Heaven and Earth Designs. She also sells bags and puzzles. She's a big puzzle producer of puzzles. Um, she does greeting cards. Amy Stewart is on Society6. I have the app on my phone, but she sells a lot of her bags and stuff through Society6. I'll link that below. But it, again, it's an app on my phone, so I think this is just amazing. It's a beautiful bag. She sent me all kinds of fun stuff, but I want to show um, the two Mill Hill kits that she sent me. That is Wanda's Wands. Isn't that gorgeous? This is the name, Wanda's Wands. It's a full Mill Hill kit. It comes with perforated paper, thread, comes with a button, and beads. So pretty. And then Midnight Glow. That's another one that I can't wait to do these. I'm so excited to do these Mill Hill kits. So thank you so much. It means a lot to me that you sent these to me. And I love everything else you sent too. Let's show some more stash that I got. I went on a Blackbird frenzy. So because I showed you the stocking, the Blackbird design stocking, the, they're mini stockings that I did, I decided I wanted to collect all of the stockings by Blackbird Designs. So what I did is I got some of the ones that were missing from my collection. I got Merry December, Blackbird Designs, and there are three stockings. There's this one, and then these two are included. So I got these, that's a lot of white stitching, holy moly. <laughs> okay, I got that one. I got April showers, which include three more. There's that one, which is really hard to see. Let's look at the ones on the back. It might be a little easier to see. There's three stockings in this one. April showers. I got thankful November, which I love. I think that's beautiful. I like to do that. Then it comes with these two in this booklet. So that's thankful November. I got October Harvest. That's really pretty. Again, these are mini, little mini stockings for my tree. They don't take long at all. In fact, one of them that I showed last week as a finish, I think I finished that in like one day. This one's October Harvest. May Flowers. Let's see if you can see those. The backs, for some reason, are a little bit easier to see. I'll show them up close so you can see. And then there's that. That's pretty with the cotton flower. And then I got Glorious June, three stockings. Oh, look at the stork. Can you guys see the stork with the baby? That's adorable. I'll show the back again. It's a little easier to see for June. And the last one I got, Splendid September. Now this, now I have all the months that I've, I've showed previous ones before. And there's the back too. So this one's Splendid September. I also got a couple more Blackbird charts. Merry Christmas by Blackbird Designs. These are so much prettier when they're stitched up. It's hard to see in the picture how pretty they are. But uh, Merry Christmas. I got Come Into My Garden by Blackbird Designs. Isn't that beautiful? Again, I think I would use a little bit brighter colors. I'm not sure what floss is, is in this. Uh, they're Weeks Dye Works. So sometimes when they're stitched, they're just so much prettier in person, but that's beautiful. That would be beautiful. Come Into My Garden. We Live in Hope. 
two samplers in this one. There's this, this one here. I love that ship. Again, I would use a little bit brighter of colors, but I think stitched up, it's gonna be so pretty. And that's the second one. Really, really pretty. Another Blackbird, all joys for thine. I didn't have a lot of Blackbird designs in my stash, so I decided I wanted to get some. And uh, someone said they've been kind of hard to find lately, but I believe they are still being reproduced. So don't anybody worry. We all know that uh, Barb passed away but I do believe that Alma, the other partner of Blackbird Designs, is still producing. Octopus's Garden Blackbird Designs. I just think this is so cool. There's something so different about this chart that at first, when I, I'm going to be honest, when I first looked at it, I thought, I don't know about this. But then when I really looked how, at all the sea life and the jellyfish and stuff, I, I really liked it. I also got Cats on Parade. I think that's really pretty. You know, I love black stitching. So I got that. And I also got the Sewing Club by 16 Projects to Sew by Blackbird Designs. This is a big booklet, a really, really great book. Here's another bit of stash that I got. I actually have two of these. So later on, I will do a giveaway. Raven Moon Nevermore by Kaniki Prims and Whims. Look at that, that is gorgeous. Those colors, anything with the crow, I tell you, <laughs> right up my alley. That's really neat. So eventually one of these will be given as a giveaway. Oh, I do have another Blackbird design, Felice Navidad, which I have seen stitched up. It is gorgeous, gorgeous. I think the pictures are just more muted and I'm not really into muted colors. so. When it's stitched up and if I maybe change the red a little bit, I think that's going to be just beautiful. That's the original. It's so pretty. Okay, I've got a couple more charts. Oh, this was from my friend in the Czech Republic, All Hallows Eve. I actually have two of these, so eventually I'll do a giveaway, probably around Halloween for this one. This is by Lila's Studio. Lila Studio. I always say it wrong. <laughs> That's really cute. Jordan Privé, ABC Halloween. That's really cool. I like that. And Jordan Privé Sampler uh, Cats. Look at that, all the kitties. I will definitely do this one. I like this one here that's scratching the wall. <laughs> that's so cute. Jordan Privé, and that's the name of it. I've got some great stash. I still need to show you guys the Kathy Barrick collection that I got and carriage house samplings. I'll show that next video. Okay, let's talk about new releases before we end the video. I've got a few more things to talk about after, but for now, let's show the new releases. Check out Monticello Stitches on Etsy. Jean is wonderful. She has a floss tube channel called Monticello Stitches. She ha has a Facebook page and she's also on Instagram. So check her out, Monticello Stitches. These are her new releases that are coming at the end of August through the Needlework Expo. You're My Home. Now, I'm not sure. I'm just reading what the chart says because I don't have the chart name. But You're My Home is my favorite. It's my favorite. I have to get it. <laughs> you can tell why. <laughs> the next new release, Make Me a Blessing to Someone Today. I think that's beautiful. I just love that. And her third new release, Be Nice or Leave. <laughs> How great is that? So check her out, Monticello Stitches on Etsy. Next, we have by Calico Confectionery on Etsy, Spooky Halloween. That is so cute. We also have Little Green Hilda. And then I think I showed these in previous videos, but they're all together as a one picture. I'll show them again. These three will also are also available. Look at that cat. That cat's fabulous. Next, we have Cottage Garden Samplings, Summer at the Shore, number eight. It is number eight in the Time for All Seasons series. Next, new release, Crochet A Go Go. I've mentioned them. They are on Etsy. Halloween Black Set 1. 
After that, as far as new releases, we have Owl Forest Embroidery Bewitched Swamp. I always like to show the floss that goes with it because I think the floss is so beautiful through Owl Forest. Next new release, Primrose Cottage Stitches on Etsy Pumpkin Patch. That's really cute. Two more. Twin Peak Primitives, now available. Now, this one's available now, Elephant Mystery. They are on Etsy. They have a web, uh, website, TwinPeakPrimitives.com. And then coming later at the end of the month through the expo is $18.99 Christmas. We have Twin Peak Santa 2021 and Winter Birds. They are beautiful, all of them. Last but not least, we have the Blue Flower. We have three of them that are coming out and the first one is a must have. I have to have this. It has a possum. I love possums. I feed my little possum out front every night and it, this cross stitch is special to me because it has a skunk in it. It's got moths. I love moths. So let me show it here. It is called the Moonlight Sampler. It's coming at the end of August through Needlework Expo. Look at all the animals. I just love all the animals in it. A sloth. It's got all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Gather with Joy is the next chart. And last but not least, we have Harvest Magic. That wraps up today's video. Thanks for joining me. And don't forget, next week I will try and get a video done in Phoenix while I'm there at summer school. And I'll try and get some pictures of the actual, the attic needlework shop. That'll be a lot of fun. So watch for that video coming. If I don't do it, then it'll do, be right when I get back. And also don't forget, most importantly, the giveaway for today. Don't say the word giveaway in comments down below. What you're going to do if you're interested in this really pretty chart, it's called Golden Birds. Put that you're interested in the chart and I will pick two winners next time and I will give your email to Anna. She will send you the PDF chart as well. And also don't forget to check out her Etsy shop. It is Rainbow Hedgehog Shop on Etsy. Look at those thread holders, the ones I was telling you about, the Salem Witch Trial thread holders. Look at her fabric and the beautiful hand-painted floss. The threads are gorgeous. So check out her Etsy shop. And again, thank you, Anna, for offering the two winners of the chart. Follow me on Instagram. I am 911stitcher, all spelled out in letters. My Facebook group is a lot of fun. You're welcome to join. It is Stitching space number 911. There's two questions that you answer. It's basically so I know that you're a stitcher or a crafter. We'd love to have you. We have fun Zoom meetups every weekend. I have a Zoom room that's open for anybody that like to come and meet new friends and stitch and chat. And we also have giveaways. We have stitching challenges. The group is a lot of fun. So join Stitching 911. We'd love to have you. And I'll see you next week. Bye everybody.